It's K-Wave 107.9, your home for worship and the word. Thanksgiving week, devotion, prayer, encouragement, and hope all roll together as we come together live. Uh, our live stream happening as well on Facebook and YouTube. A big come together live welcome to Pastor Leonardo Figueroa from Real Life Calvary Chapel in Lakewood. Once again, good to have you back, Pastor. What's on your mind this morning? Good morning. Um, we're going to be looking at Acts chapter 5, verse 42. Uh, I think it's a great passage for the upcoming holiday. It says, um, and I'm reading from the New Living. It says, and every day in the temple and from house to house, they continue to teach and preach this message. Jesus is the Messiah. The word Messiah means the promised one, the anointed one. And what a, uh, um, a perfect time of year during the holidays is to talk about the promised one, right? To talk about the anointed one, to talk about Jesus, to give thanks. You know, there's Christians, it's been a rough year. It's been a rough two years, quite frankly, Mm. you know, and um, everybody's has different stories, different testimonies and things. But the one thing that we can all be thankful for, no matter how rough it's been, is that we've been saved. We've been saved by Jesus. The, the, The anointed one, the promised one came and he saved our lives. He changed our lives. And um, I love how it says that they were going from house to house and they were proclaiming and giving and teaching and preaching this message that Jesus is the Messiah. And I love to come on here and just constantly just encourage the body of Christ to be sharing their faith, um, because I think it's something that some that we need to do more and more, especially in these days. People are always praying for revival, 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 but it needs to start with us. But we need more and more to be going and sharing the gospel, taking every opportunity to share that Jesus is the Messiah, the Savior, the one, the promised one. And so um, I, I don't mean to get all political or anything like that, but but I, I'm not into the mandates. I'm not into all that. We're going to gather together with our families and we're going to rejoice and be thankful to the Lord and 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 just share the good news. What would keep you? What would keep you from sharing that message hmm. this Thanksgiving or these holidays? Yeah. You know, I I can't stand when people say, ha- uh, you know, happy holidays or seasons <laughs> greetings. And like, oh, man, come on. You know, it's Merry Christmas. Yes, <laughs> so I, I agree. Um, take every opportunity to share that Jesus is the Messiah. That's who people need. That's what people really, really need to find in this world. It's a message I think we need to hear constantly and remind ourselves constantly. And let's let's talk more about that, Pastor, as we have more time on Facebook and YouTube. Can you pray us out? Yes, Father, thank you so much, God, for just the opportunity to always be on here and to, and to share, Lord. I count it a great privilege. And Father, for those that are listening, those that are watching, we ask, God, that you would stir us up, fill us with your spirit. Give us boldness, as you did to the disciples in that time, Father, to share and to preach that Jesus is the Messiah. As we go from house to house, from family, from one family to the next, Lord, that we would share from house to house that Jesus is the Messiah. And so, Lord, uh, go before us, we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Still more with Pastor Leonardo Leonardo Figueroa as, uh, as you come to our Facebook page or YouTube channel for part two as we talk more about Jesus the Messiah, and sharing Jesus with others. And here on K-Wave, the Lord invites us, urges us to share the gospel. So, you know, we've been talking about that with the pastor. Well, he gives us encouragement to do that. That's next on A New Beginning. Pastor, Jesus is the Messiah. We accepted Jesus into our hearts. Most of us listening right now um, have done that. How do we remind ourselves. With all this stuff, you know, there's always something happening in the world. There's always something. It could be COVID. It could, you know, before COVID, there was something else. And right. and things kind of bog us down, kind of make us lose sight. We don't see the forest for the trees kind of thing. How do we remind ourselves daily that Jesus is the Messiah? Jesus is the main focus. Never forget where you came from. Mm-hmm. Never forget where he saved you. You know, what, 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 where you were at, you know, I think it's always just remaining humble before the Lord and, and never thinking that you've arrived, so to speak. We, we, we don't arrive until we get to um, glory, right? Yeah, yeah. And so 
um, we're, we're until then we're to live humble until then, you know, uh, Michael seven verse eight, right. Um, walk humbly before your God. Uh, oh, I'm drawing a blank right now, Yeah, but uh, it, 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 but it's, 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 we're to, we're to walk humble before our Lord and always never forget the pit and the muck and the mire and the junk that Jesus saved us from. And, Use that as a springboard, as something that stirs you up to go and share with others that if God saved me, he could save you. Yeah. And I think the moment we lose that, you know, that's when we become dry, we become stale, we become less passionate about getting the gospel out and sharing with people. Too comfortable, really. Yeah. No, I agree. And I think we have to remember that, you know, to the to the non-believer, to the, to the person who has not made that decision to follow Christ, this is as good as it's going to get here in this world. For us as, be, <laughs> as believers, <laughs> as believers though, this is as bad as it's going to get. I mean, this, right. is, this is the believer's hell right now. You know, and, right. and while, we're, while we're, you know, kind of going through life here, um, don't we want to make as many people come to Christ as possible? I won't well, make is a bad word, but... Um, you know, get as people, get as many people to come to Christ as possible. And I think, yeah. I, I think the main objection uh, to people who are like hesitant to share Christ is they don't think they're knowledgeable enough or they think they're going to stumble over their words or they're going to come to a question they're not going to be able to answer. What do you say to someone like that? Well, <clears throat> in the context of Acts chapter five and Acts six, at the end of Acts six, the disciples are being threatened by the religious leaders and telling them not to speak in the name of Jesus anymore. Yeah. And but previously before that obviously in Acts chapter 2 they're filled with the Holy Spirit. But in Acts chapter 4, like verse 31 it says after this prayer the meeting place shook and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and they preached the word of God with boldness. But then it says in verse 13 it says that the council members were amazed when they saw the boldness of Peter and John for they could see that they were ordinary men with no special training in scriptures, and they recognized that they had simply been with Jesus. Mm. And for the person that is intimidated, for the person that doesn't have the answers, for the person, my encouragement to you is just spend time with the Lord. Um, ask for a filling of the Holy Spirit. Ask for the Lord to give you boldness, and then and just go for it. You know, Jesus said, open your mouth, I'll fill it. Yeah. You know, a lot of times we have all these excuses, and that's really all it is. It's just excuses. Um, but just start up a conversation with people, share the love of Jesus. Just all you have to do is really just share all the goodness and the greatness of God that he's doing in your life. Yeah, And that can be a witness in its own. And then they might start asking questions, you know, because of that. <clears throat> so to me, it's, you know... Stop thinking about yourself and start thinking about that person that can die and go to hell. Yeah. And there's many situations where, you know, you'll be able to share Christ. It's not just a point blank kind of thing. It could be, you know, someone's going through the same stuff that you did and you can help them out in that way. And Jesus naturally comes into the conversation. Uh, there's so many, mm-hmm. so many different ways. So, you know, mm-hmm. I, I think look for those opportunities and don't feel like you have to, you have to go it alone when you're sharing Christ. Like you feel like right. you have to do it by yourself. God is with you. God, God will give you the, the things to say if you let him. Yeah, and I always share that, you know, if, if you have a prompting of the Holy Spirit to go share with somebody, mm. then my advice is to do it because the Holy Spirit, one, is prompting you, and two, he's probably already been preparing their heart. Yeah. And how many times have, you know, we shared, those of us that have shared, you know, with people, we've talked with people and, um, man, God was already doing this in my life, and you could already tell. I'm like, wow! And it was just an act of obedience. Yeah. And and so, just keep in mind, you know, you, you, people are going to be spending time with the in laws and the outlaws, you know, <laughs> during these holiday seasons, and 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 the Lord is going to use you. Be open. Yeah. Be open to the Lord using you, and um, be excited, be pumped up, and be prayed up. As you're getting ready, as you're driving there, just be prayed up, and and then just be yourself. You don't have to be, you know, a, I don't know, but you don't have to be any, you know, any, just be yourself. 
Yeah. And yeah. I I've learned I, that, you know, trying to be someone else, that's when things go off the rails. <laughs> you just got to be yourself. <laughs> you do. God created you you're yeah. unique and give, has given you different talents and skills and abilities. So just be yourself. Pastor Leonardo Figueroa, Pastor Fish from Real Life Calvary Chapel in yes, Lakewood. Sir. Reallifecalvary.com <laughs> is the website. Check it out. Pastor, happy Thanksgiving. And we're always appreciative when you come together live with us. Thank you so much. Oh, man, what a blessing. Happy Thanksgiving to all the K-Way family. Love you guys. Always Good. a pleasure being here. Thanks, Pastor. God bless. And to come together again tomorrow morning at around 825. More devotions and prayer. We'll have Pastor Tommy Coda here from Hope Alive Church in Santa Ana for the last day before Thanksgiving. And here on K-Wave, uh, don't forget, Pastor Greg Laurie and a new beginning happening right now telling you how to share Christ. So uh, make sure you join him on K-Wave 107.9. Until tomorrow, K-Wave family, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.